Surfshark VPN not working as intended on your iPhone or iPad? No fear because today I will show you several things that you can try to improve your VPN connection. Let's get into it. Before you follow any of these tips, make sure that you are using the latest version of the Surfshark app. Usually, the app will update on its own, but it's still a good idea to check if there's a new version in case you're having connection issues. Now, let's get into our first tip, and that is to try different VPN locations. In the Locations section of the app, you will find all VPN locations that you can try connecting to. Next to each location, you will also notice a small bubble, which indicates how busy each server is. The less filled the bubble is, the less loaded a location server will be, which should result in a smoother connection. Also, don't forget to try static and multi-hop locations located here. If that doesn't help, then let's try using other VPN protocols. On the Surfshark app, go to the settings and then VPN settings. Under the protocol select menu, you will be able to choose from WireGuard, IKV2, or OpenVPN UDP slash TCP. All these protocols are secure. However, some may work better than others depending on your device, network settings, and more. In fact, go watch our protocol explainer video right here to find out more about them. But either way, after changing your protocol, try testing your connection once again. Connection issues can also be caused by already enabled VPN features. Let's go to the settings, then VPN settings. Here, we will find clean web and kill switch. Both of them have a chance to cause some instability depending on your network settings, so try toggling both of them off and then test your connection. The IP rotator feature located in the advanced settings can also sometimes cause instability, so try disabling it as well. Still having issues? No worries, let's try a few other simple solutions. Let's go back to the settings, but this time select Get Help located here. In this menu, we can select Reset VPN Profile option, which will attempt to help with your connection issues. After resetting your profile, go back to the Connect screen and try connecting one more time. Some connection issues can occur due to other apps or services interfering with Surfshark. Some obvious ones to look out for are other VPNs, file sharing apps, firewalls, and cloud storage apps. Simply try disabling these apps and check if you get a smoother VPN connection. Another and one of the easiest ways to make your connectivity more stable is switching to a different network. Sometimes connectivity issues might appear because of restrictions on networks that internet providers apply. Want to check if that's the case? Simply try switching from Wi-Fi to mobile data or vice versa. We are now going to move on to some more advanced solutions starting with changing your DNS or domain name system addresses. Your default DNS is set by your internet service provider, however, they can sometimes be preventing you from connecting to a VPN or cause instability. So let's change your DNS to Surfshark DNS, which should hopefully improve your connection. Start by going to the settings and then selecting Wi-Fi. In the My Network section, choose the Wi-Fi network that you're currently connected to, and then press this I info letter. A new menu will open and here we need to click on Configure DNS. Now select Manual and if there are any other DNS addresses already there, make sure to delete them by pressing the red minus button. Now add two new DNS addresses by pressing on the plus icon. First DNS is 208-67-222-222 and the second one is 208-67-222. Once that's done, click on save and see if your VPN connection got better. Finally, if after trying each and every solution you're still unable to connect, then the issue might be hiding in your network settings. You could be using a restricted network that blocks off VPN connection ports. Some examples of this include school networks, for instance. Or another issue is IPv6. At the moment, Surfshark does not support IPv6, so if your network is IPv6 only, then you won't be able to connect. A simple way to check if you have IPv6 is to go to surfshark.com forward slash what is my IP and check what IP address you get. IPv6 addresses look like this, with many random numbers and letters, compared to IPv4, which are short and consist only of numbers. If you have IPv6, then the best solution would be to disable it through your router's control panel. Keep in mind that this will not negatively affect your network. We actually made a video on how to access your router, which you can check out right here. Now, 
In case you cannot find an option to disable IPv6 in your router settings, then sadly you will have to contact your ISP so that they can hopefully disable it for you. And that is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. So that is all for me. I'll see you next time.